Right now, a vigil is underway for a missing Largo attorney, Stephen Causey, in front of the courthouse in St. Petersburg. Thank you for joining us. I'm Carolina Lee. And I'm Dave Wagner. Last Tuesday, Causey disappeared from his office at Blanchard Law under suspicious circumstances. His body has still not been found. Police have charged plastic surgeon Dr. Thomas Kozowski with first-degree murder in connection with his death. And 10 Tampa Bay's Megan Myers is live at the courthouse right now where family and friends are gathering to remember Stephen Kazi. Uh, Megan, they are going through an awful lot there. Definitely a lot of people filled with heavy hearts out here. We heard from former co-workers, friends, and his husband, all saying how much they love Stephen Causey and honoring and remembering him. Obviously a very tragic situation that happened. And all of this started last week when he was reported missing. He, uh, investigators were told that he was never seen leaving his law office. They actually found his wallet as well as his keys inside of that law office and his car remained parked in the parking lot. When investigators showed up to look around, they say there was a strong chemical odor in the bathroom and they found small drops of blood. Now over the weekend, police arrested Tarpon Springs plastic surgeon Thomas Kosowski. Causey's law firm represented people involved in a lawsuit filed by him. The civil suit came after billing issues with insurance and negative online reviews. Kozowski was looking for at least $15,000 in damages. Now, as I mentioned, we did hear from Steve's loved ones out here today, including his husband. Here's a little bit of what he had to say. One of the coolest things um, about this whole tra or that's come out of this tragedy is that I've gotten to basically meet my husband again. Uh, by seeing pictures uh, that I didn't know existed and learning about things that I didn't know he did, um, you know, and I'm incredibly grateful. Now, police are still searching for Causey's body. As this investigation continues, they're asking for anyone with information to come forward and give them a call. I'm reporting live in St. Petersburg tonight, Megan Myers, 10 Tampa Bay.